morning, ladies and gentlemen. Alan here with Off-Grid Technology. You guys know that we're taking a look at the HA1G. Uh, this is the HA1G that was sent to us from Redivis. Um, as you can tell, we use our radios. Uh, we, we really test them here. Uh, it's not that we just get a radio and we open up the box and we talk about a few features. Um, we use a lot of these radios for weeks, sometimes a month at a time, two months at a time. Um, this has been my EDC radio for some time now, and if you've already read the description, you're going to know why. I'm going to show you how to unlock the band frequencies on this radio so you can transmit on other than GMRS if you want to. Just a little legal disclaimer, uh, this is not authorized by the FCC. Uh, you can only do this in times of emergencies, even then. Um, if you're not licensed for GMRS and you're not transmitting on a part uh, that's GMRS certified, please don't. Um, I only show you this thing, these uh, ideas for uh, you know SHTF, things like that. Do it at your own risk. All that out the side, let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. All right, ladies and gents, so before I get into showing you how to unlock the frequencies on the HA1G, I just want to give a shout out to a couple people. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Dan. Uh, Dan reached out to us on our website through our comment section on one of our posts, uh, gave us this information uh, about Ham Radio Life, uh, told us to go check it out, so we did. We went ahead and checked it out over there. If you guys want to see our website, leave us a comment, check out some other reviews, uh, just visit us at www.offgrid.technology. Uh, and the other person that I want to thank is going to be Ham Radio Life, uh, hamradiolife.org. He's the gentleman that the link went to uh, where we were able to download this software. So give him a view, let him know we sent you. Um, definitely shout out to him. All right, so when you're in the folder, you're going to see several files in there. Uh, one of them is going to be a log tool, um, I want, or a log for the tool. I want to show you this log because I was having some issues when I first tried to run it. Um, it was telling me that it could not find or an error for the HA1V001 modem, Y modem control .cpp. Uh, now you cannot edit this file, so you can't change that. But what you can do is if you go into the upgrade tool INI, you want to make sure that the path for the file is complete to what this path is here. So you want to copy your path like this. You would want to repaste re, or repaste it like that. Um, make sure that you've got the right name for the bin file. So you can take that and change it there. Um, once you've got that, go ahead and hit save. And then now you can run the upgrade tool and you can see it's going to pop up right here. Um, if you're running the tool and you're not getting anything and you're seeing that log, double check your path, make sure your path is correct. Because if it's not, uh, this tool will not pop up. Uh, once you do that, select your COM port, uh, make sure your radio is turned off. Uh, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set this up. So to get this into update mode, you're going to want to turn your radio off. You're going to want to hold down your PTT and your P1 button. So P1 button, PTT, turn it on, and you're, no, you're going to know it's right when the screen is black. And you can see it's got the LED that's just sitting there like that. Nothing on the screen. Go ahead and plug that into your cable. And then we're going to go back over here to the desktop. You would hit update. Uh, now I've already updated this radio, so I'm not going to go ahead through the process, but I am going to show you a screenshot right here uh, overlaid over this tool. So that way you can see what it looks like. Uh, wait for that to finish. And then once it's finished, you're going to want to go ahead and go ahead and close this all out. And then we're going to return back over to the radio. All right. So you've got your radio now. It's still turned off, so there's nothing on the screen. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and turn it on. And you're going to see if I try to transmit here on this VHFC, which is the VHF calling frequency for two meters, you're going to still get transmit not permitted. Uh, this is by design. So, you know, unfortunately, this is one thing that you're going to have to do every time you turn off and turn on this radio. But you're going to want to hold down the lock button. Make sure you get the lock signal or lock symbol up there. So you got to have it. Press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now you're going to see there's another symbol right up here. If you unhold your lock button, press your PTT, you can see it's transmitting. Now I did do a call off, off camera, so sad hams, please. We did go ahead and put our call sign out there. But you can see that you're able to receive and transmit now 
on VHF. We can go ahead and go to the UHF channel. So this is 446. Same thing. You're now able to transmit. You're able to receive. Now it is kind of an annoyance that you have to do the lock one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the lock again. Um, I haven't figured out a way past that. It just seems to be part of the software. Uh, the other thing that took me a while to figure out is to get into frequency mode. So um, if you've used the Alliance or Iluence HD1, um, this is going to be very familiar to you. You can see with the screen. So you can use your star key to swap back and forth. Use your pound key to go to a single and then if you hold down the exit mode. that will put you into frequency mode here you can go ahead and type in your frequencies that you want hit menu, menu enter oh, I did 888 but anyway you see what I'm saying and there you go now your radio is completely unlocked you can use UHF and VHF so I did um, double check this is UHF and VHF I have not seen what the frequency limits are but I've had no problems transmitting on GMRS on MERS on most UHF and VHF frequencies um, I've carried this around listening to just normal VHF UHF frequencies while transmitting on GMRS uh, that way I can have one radio that I can listen to and if I have to I can always pick up my other radio and transmit on the handbands. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, we are still doing the review for this. It's taking a little bit longer because we're doing the waterproof testing and so forth. And like I said, we do use our radios. Uh, give us a thumbs up. So, uh, subscribe to us. We will have this review out here this week for the HA1G as well as some other stuff that's coming our way. And yeah, thank you guys. Have a wonderful afternoon.